Like, in your opinion, uh, like, where's the wrestling industry headed right now? Like, what, what's going on in the industry? Well, I've been in the industry maybe 16, 17 years now. This is the worst I've ever seen it as far as there's not that many places to wrestle. Obviously, there's not that many territories. And, uh, um, you know, it's a promoter's market right now. The promoter's going to give you what he wants to pay you, and you're going to have to take it or go nowhere else, you know? If you're not in WWF or TNA, where else can you be? No American is making money in Mexico. You know, no American is making money in Puerto Rico. Some Americans are making money in Japan, but a lot of people don't want to go to Japan. So right now it's at an all-time low. And unless <clears throat> they start playing politics and games and get back to business, we're going to stay in the predicament we're in. You can't keep waiting for another rock to come along and save the, the business. Um, how do you feel the internet's affected the wrestling industry? I just think that the internet has just made promoters be a little bit more honest and uh, has the way that they treat the fans and even the wrestlers. And uh, I just think it's brought a little bit of honesty to this business. Um, I think uh, there's a lot of negativism on the internet when this is, you know, it's mindless entertainment. It is what it is. It isn't, you know, a real big thing on most people's minds or in their worlds except wrestling fans and wrestlers themselves. You know, it is what it is, and uh, I just think the people that are so negative about it should maybe question themselves, what is it that they love about the business, and not always be trying to look for the worst of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, uh, in this part of your career right now, where you're at, what do you want to do next? What are your aspirations? What are your dreams? My dream would be probably, I'm going back to Mexico after six year hiatus in two months. I want to go back there and be the big name that I was before, and if I could do that, I'm pretty well happy with my legacy in this business and uh, I've been held back by my own personality that I'm not that easy to manipulate and I don't go along with the flow and I understand that and I'd rather I'd rather you know uh, you hate me for what I am than love me for what I'm not you know what I'm saying I'm always going to keep it real but the bottom line is this I think that uh, that um, if I could go back to Mexico, which I'm going back in two months, and maybe even be in WWF and do something with Eddie and Ray that I basically did so much with them in AAA in Mexico, I could leave very happy. But if I go back to Mexico and I can gain the spot I had, I'll be just as happy. But those would be the only two things that I haven't done unless TNA grows into something big. I'd love to grow with them. But that's about it. I've, I've accomplished pretty much everything I've wanted to. So is that your goal right now, to get into WWE? And to Mexico? Somehow? go to Mexico, grow with TNA, or if something happens to TNA, go and do something with Eddie and Ray in WWF. And that's it. What's it like working with TNA? How's the locker room there? And how's it uh, feel to be a wrestler and an announcer for them? The locker room's very relaxed. There's not that much politics. Um, I just think that they're not doing good business. They're like WWF. If they like you, you can do no wrong. If they don't like you, you can do no right. And they're picking a lot of people that shouldn't be in positions that they're in just because they like them or they're favorites of theirs. And business isn't being done in either company what's holding the business back from evolving right now that that the guys in charge aren't doing business you know they're not you know look at WWF tell me am I right or am I wrong how many people wouldn't like to see Booker T in a bigger spot how many people wouldn't like to see RVD in a bigger spot but they're being held back because somebody doesn't like them why can't they find nothing better to do with Rey Mysterio is Bradshaw the best you can do as a champion you know, he's obviously a favorite of Jim Ross and Michael Hayes and Bruce, Bruce Pritchard, that Texas click. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, business just isn't being done. Look at TNA, Goldilocks. She gets more interview time than half the people there. She's in better storylines than half the people there. Why? She's got zero talent. Um, like... Do you think the main holdback and everything is creatively, or is it just like people... I just told you politics. People so, that, I like this guy. He's got a good look. Let's put him here. I don't like this guy because I don't get along with him. Even though the people love him, I don't like him. Why don't you let the people decide who they like? It makes your job a lot easier. That's exactly what I'm talking about. RVD and Booker T don't get bigger pushes because somebody doesn't like them. And the people, you know, they're feeling them. You can't find something better to do than Rey Mysterio. He's one of your biggest merchandise sellers, one of the best wrestlers you have, one of the flashiest dressers. All kids think he's a little kid and they want to play with him, and you can't find better storylines for him. He isn't in a better spot than he should be, but you know what I'm saying?
He's being, he's like treading water. Where do you predict the business is going to be in five years from now? Believe it or not, I really do predict this. I don't know where it's going to be in five years, much less in one year. But I can tell you this, that in five years, WWF or TNA will have to have their own Latin American division because by then somebody will be running wrestling for Latins here. It's going to change the face of wrestling because you're going to have to give Latinos their wrestling. Just like right now, all the pay-per-view is bought by the Latino fans to see <clears throat> Oscar De La Hoya, Felix Trinidad, Ricardo Mayorga, uh, Fernando Vargas, you know, those guys. Just like Julio Cesar Chavez in his day, Hector Camacho, and <clears throat> same thing with wrestling. You're going to have to have Lucha Libre or wrestling geared to our Latin market, guaranteed. Vince McMahon has gotten lucky that nobody else has had the money or has had somebody show him the way yet, but they're starting to find out. And a big business, whether it's Televisa or Galavision or Pemex or some big Spanish conglomerate, Univision, maybe even NBC in Espanol, will find out and uh, that's going to be the way, I would say in five years, Lucha Libre or wrestling geared to a Latin market. Can you tell me, uh, back, back in the day, back when you were in your peak in Mexico, uh, you and Vamp had really bad blood between each other. Right. What, what was the deal with all that? We were just both immature, you know, and I think Antonio Pena, who was my boss, he always liked the, you know, glamorous, good-looking guy, and he always kind of was like a mark for Vampiro, and he wanted uh, me to always be competing against him. Oh, Vampiro's going out with this actor, so you need to go out with him. Vampiro did this, and, and then I think that... Uh, we're both very rebellious and I think we were immature and, and we had other wrestlers kind of stir up the pot and um, we just started to have a I think it I think a professional jealousy turned into personal jealousy and it was just stupid you know we were both young and Mexico wasn't big enough for the both of us it's like having Axl Rose and Slash in the same group they just couldn't be there no more or or Eddie Van Halen and David Lee Roth you know as talented as they were the group wasn't big enough for the both of Mexico wasn't big enough for the both of us. Now you told, I remember you telling me you used to be a pro boxer. And you're uh, a big, amateur boxer. And you're a big strong guy. Do you mm -hmm. think, uh, is there ever a chance that you'll go into like mixed martial arts? Like no, I'm too old for that. If I would have done it when I first started, I would have, but mixed martial arts wasn't big when I broke in.